Good morning, everybody. This is Ben back again, and now it's time for a celebrity movie collection video on this um, Thursday morning, the 7th of July. Um, which, by the way, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, those firework videos that I did, um, that I do pretty much every year or so. Um, hope you guys enjoy them, but, but anyways, regardless of that, um, for this video, this is another celebrity movie collection video in which this time... This time, I'm going to show you guys my Paul Newman movies, which is incredibly small. I only have five of his films. Well, one of them, though, is a posthumous release. Um, well, you could probably kind of tell on the right, but... But other than that, though, it still counts, but... Um, but anyways, let's get right into it, shall we? First up, we have The Sting. This is also with Robert Redford. This is from 1973. Yep, and this is a 1990 VHS release, also with Robert Shaw. Alright, we got the label, and no print day. Okay, next up we have The Towering Inferno. This is a year after The Sting, from 1974. This is also with Steve McQueen, William Holden, and Faye Dunaway. Irwin Allen film. One of the greatest disaster pictures made by Daily Variety. Yep, this was an all-star cast. Um, well, at the time, a lot of bonus features, but I'm not going to read them. Um, I don't know where the first disc is, so I just have this two in here. Um, it's also upside down, by the way, but yeah, I did have the first disc in it, but that got lost years ago as well as so the the uh, swing tray, I think that's what it's called. So, yeah. But anyways, let's go on. Next up, we have Road to Perdition. This is also with Tom Hanks and Jude Law. This is from 2002, 20 years ago. A Triumph by Peter Trouser of Rolling Stone and Two Thumbs Up by Roger Ebert and Richard Roper of Ebert and Roper. So, yep. We got the ink label. And the print date is March 9, 2004, so this is a reprint. Alright, we got two more left. Next up we have Cars. This is from 2006. 2006 Pixar film, of course. An instant classic by Richard Corliss of Time. And Two Thumbs Up by Ebert and Roper. Got the, the disc. It's a single disc. Um, starting with this... Um, well, not necessarily, but a lot of the future Pixar releases after this would get a single disc, except for the Blu-rays. Got the features there, made during the Ghost Light One Man Band, inspiration for cars, and then the characters, as well as the scene selections. Okay, and finally... We have Cars 3, which this, as I said, this is a posthumous release of his because his voice is featured like in archive recordings, like in clips. Uh, Pure Pixar Delight by Sean Mulville Hill of FanboyNation.com. And The Perfect Family Film by Scott Menzel of We Live Entertainment. And it includes the short film Lou and plus the commentary. So, yep. The first two Cars films I've seen, this one I haven't seen. I've only seen bits of it. Um, I wanted to see this when it came out five years ago, but I missed out on it. But that's okay. We've got the rewards and as well as the Disney Movie Club stuff. Okay, so that is it for my Paul Newman movie collection video. And I'll see you again... Um some other time, like one of these days, as I usually say, I'm thinking maybe at the end of this week, I might maybe do a couple more, not a lot, but just maybe a few, um, well, not a few, maybe like one more, so depending on it, but, but anyways, there you go, that is it, and I'll see you again when I will get the chance to do so.